It's Goku Sun DBZ. Welcome back for a special new top 10 list. Today I'm going to be reviewing, or rather, ranking top 10 personal favorite songs from the 1990s. And this will include all genres of music from the 90s, whether it be alternative pop, techno, rock, metal, doesn't matter. All genres are included in this. Today, I will instead of normal, I will be listing the honorable mentions before I state number one. Coming in, and some of these are guilty pleasures, just so you know. Coming in number ten is an example of a guilty pleasure. Steal My Sunshine by L.E.N. And why I like this song, I do not know. It's not exactly one of the greatest songs, but it is a 90s song that has stuck with me throughout the years, and I've never forgotten this song. Even though it's pretty cheesy and not the best well done song. Sometimes, though unfortunately in the 80s and 90s, not necessarily always the best songs. Are songs that often you remember more than anything else for some odd reason. Who knows why. But that's number 10. Number 9 is not a guilty pleasure. It's just a good earlier song from probably my all time favorite punk band, Green Day. And coming in number nine is their song Brain Stew. Great song. Most people usually automatically think of Basket Case. Good song, honestly. But I feel Brain Stew is better than Basket Case. Though I know Basket Case is a much more successful song. Definitely of the songs from the 90s. It's the best one known one. But it came from their biggest album, of course. Dookie. Coming in at number eight is a new age song from the 90s from the well-known techno new age band Enigma and that song coming from 90s is a song I remember actually from around 1993 pretty big song at the time today now so many people remember it, it was called Return to Innocence which had a Native American like with the techno and stuff a Native American tribal like um sound and stuff, and which is why I love it so much. I love that Native American chant, which is just cool. I wish more people would think about experimenting with like Native American chants and stuff in their music. It gives it more originality, plus at the same time, it's showing respect to Native American culture. Coming in at number seven as a song was a one-hit wonder by a Though they had more than one number one hit in Europe, but here in America it was only a number one hit. Um, done by the band Aqua. And of course you probably automatically figure it out. Barbie Girl. Funny enough, if you actually listen to an interview with Aqua from years back, they actually say it was a political song that were actually making fun of the stereotypical people who try to look like, doll, like dolls, Ken, Barbie and things. So they did a music video, if you back your pay attention to the lyrics, they're mocking like the super wealthy elites and stuff who always try, in other words, the prissy or preppy types. That's who they're mocking in the music. Coming in at number six is the combination collaboration of uh, DJ Jazzy Jeff and Will Smith, and obviously what that is. It's best well known for being the theme song, of course, of the TV series, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Good song to this day. Probably my favorite song from Will Smith. Though neck and neck, kind of, probably with his version of, of course, Men in Black. Also an amazing song and awesome movie. Coming in at number five is off of the same titled album from 1992 from, of course, the awesome, legendary band... Megadeth, and it's the song Countdown to Extinction, which I like that song actually more than their biggest song off the album, of course, that being Symphony of Destruction. But I like Countdown to Extinction more than Symphony of Destruction. Just my taste, and also this song was even awarded an award by environmental groups for stating about what was going on with the environment at the time, you know, with just starring to talk about global warming and things. Coming in at number four 
was released in 1999 from, of course, at that time, a pretty big political band. That being Rage Against the Machine with their big hit, Gorilla Radio, coming in at number four. Coming in at number three is one of my all-time favorite songs from, of course, Iced Earth. And it's the song off their 1998 album, Something Wicked This Way Comes, and that is the song Prophecy. I pretty much know the song Merkel Word. That's how many times I've listened to the song over the years. Just good song, in general, awesome metal song. It's an example of how good some metal bands were in the 90s. Coming in at number two is the awesome techno metal group at that time, industrial metal band, Rammstein. And my personal favorite song from them, which actually was in the ending credits of the 1997 not so great sequel. <sighs> Mortal Kombat Annihilation. But it's an awesome song, nevertheless. And that's Angle. Which, of course, translates into English Angel. That's what Angle means. Um, before I mention number one, runners up, honorable mentions. From Smash Mouth, then the morning comes. Share, Believe, Our Lady Peace, Tomorrow Never Knows, Nirvana, Come As You Are, Madonna, Beautiful Stranger, Anthrax with also a chorus, Public Enemy, Bring the Noise, and last honorable mention from the band Collective Soul, Shine, coming in at number one. From definitely one of my biggest guilty pleasure bands, I guess you could say. Often overhated for some reason, and that is Creed. Creed comes in at number one with their distinctive song, Higher. I can't help that I love this song so much. I can't help I love Creed. I've been listening to Creed music since 1997. Since around the time period of their debut album, My Own Prison. Which is seriously a really good, overall strong album. I still like Human Clay more, though most people feel it's the most overplayed album in their dis discography. I do agree with them, sometimes a little overplayed. I feel the Higher is one of those songs that really makes that album so good, honestly. Songs like that, songs like What If, songs like Inside All of Us. Or songs like Faceless Man. Just really good overall album. I enjoy it. But I will agree their debut album was much darker. And I'd rather just not talk much about their third album. Weathered. But that's my top ten favorite songs of the 1990s. What's your favorite songs of the 90s? Leave a comment. And let me know. And yeah, I guess you see I'm wearing a different shirt. Recently picked up Pink Floyd shirt, which is awesome. That's the thing. I love the album cover and I love the music of Pink Floyd and Dark Side of the Moon. Awesome album, one of the best rock albums of all time. But anyways, I'll see you all next time here on YouTube Land and for an upcoming new Top 5 Fighters list. Another generation character list. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you all next time here on YouTube Land.